What's up you guys? Shardness Prime here doing another BBTS unboxing video. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends or all kinds of other figures, you can do so at Maybe Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. I also have a Marvel Legends package to unbox right here from Target. And I have some figures over here that I want to show off that I picked up at Target recently. Uh, just today, I saw some new Jurassic world dominion figures and i had to pick this up right here uh theron is uh is holy crap i had to grab this i was just telling my daughter how dinosaurs or birds are dinosaurs and she couldn't believe me and then when i showed her this it made sense to her so i'm excited to have this i'm definitely keeping this one i did pick up two other dinos that i am on the fence about God, and I'm gonna wait a little while before I open this. I may return it, but the T-Rex over here just looks awesome. I love this paint job. Uh, you can see a paint job right here on the back does not look nearly as cool to me. If you hear drumming, that's Lord Emmatron in the back uh, playing with drums. But yeah, you can see uh, this is what's technically called the Thrash and Devour. Not Thrash and Throw, but Thrash and Devour T-Rex. And I just love these paint apps so i'm thinking of maybe selling my super colossal t-rex and replace it with that one because i also picked this up and i'm very 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 likely to not keep it but damn it for right now this is one of those things where it's like oh dude I, i'm falling for the hype saw the new jurassic world stuff and i had to at least pick it up and give myself a chance to own it so, you know, I was thinking, all right, pick this up, give it a few days, you know, maybe watch some reviews and uh, see if you still want to keep it, bro. But if you don't want to keep it, then you can return it. So I'm going to hang on to this for a little bit, see whether or not I keep it. And uh, yeah, say uh, yeah, what's up to the dude that I saw at the Target over there. Yeah, he said hi to me. So that's always nice. Appreciate that. Anyway, let's get to it and open this thing. I also wanted to say thank you for... Uh, thanks again to Hasbro and and Dwight, Ryan, Dan, all you guys for making it possible for me to review the first appearance Spider-Man figure. That was awesome. I was as honest as could be. Like I was, I I was fully honest, and nobody asked me to admit any of my opinions from the video at all whatsoever. Actually, there was one edit, and it was me adding in a clip that wasn't necessarily a positive attribute of the figure and Hasbro was cool with me keeping it in like they they're fine with it because it was honest all right so let's get to it and crack this thing open corrupt reviews dishonest review maybe is what I think people get afraid of and oh yep here we go I did it I did it I said I was gonna do it and I really did it I picked up a second doctor uh, her a second defender strange yeah uh, it's not the first one to have the portal from the other one right over here, but I had to have at least two portals. Uh, I'll probably sell the other one or customize this one into a different Doctor Strange. I don't know. It's the Multiverse of Madness. It could be like a green Doctor Strange. How about that? You know, make a big time. I don't know. Or just sell the extra figure, you know, but one way or another. We'll see. I kind of want to wait until I actually watch the movie to see how I feel about Defender Strange before I do anything with the extra figure. So I'll wait and, and I'll be patient. All right. And then here we have this box from Big Bad Toy Store, which has a lot of good stuff in it that I'm very excited to open right here in front of you guys. By the way, I checked the P.O. box. There was no letters and artwork over there. I was like, whoa, what the hell? How about this? You guys send me some letters and artwork, especially uh, showcasing first appearance Spider-Man. I promise I'll show it in the next P.O. box pickups video or unboxing video anyway, huh? Eh? What about that for a deal, huh, would you? I love reading your guys' letters and artwork, so feel free to send over to Shardness Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. And uh, you can have your stuff showcased in a video similar to this one. All right, here we go. Lots of cool stuff in here. And I am, oh, yes, 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 yes. I've been wanting this. All right, bro. Look. There he is. Wow. Wow. 
So here is our 20 years Hulk figure. And I got to say, my observing eyes here actually doesn't look too bad. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is a hefty package, man. I mean, this is like really packed in there. Even at the bottom, this is all folded over here. I mean, dude, really intense packaging. This thing is really, really filling up that space. That is awesome. Stay tuned for a review of him coming up very soon. I also, oh, I can't believe I did this, but man, I had to do it. I had to give it a shot because I really like the figure and I'm kind of regretting it already, but it doesn't look bad. And that is the Winter Soldier right over here, the redone Winter Soldier figure. And it's not even the Winter Soldier figure I really want to have on my display, but I'm thinking of adding him to the villain shelf. I will. I'm going to add this guy to the villain's shelf because I really love Winter Soldier as a villain. I'm going to keep my good guy Bucky and then I'll have my bad guy Bucky. Two separate shelves. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm... A, I'm happy with it. Looks pretty sweet, man. Uh, you know, not my favorite of the re-releases, but still pretty cool. Also, oh, wow. Hmm. We have the Far From Home Upgraded Suit Spider-Man figure. And is this, it says special set. All right, special set because of the base, I guess. But yeah, uh, I was wondering if you guys wanted to see me review this. So this is something that... I was picking up thinking, oh, all right, I'm curious, I'm curious, maybe do a review because I do have a few Far From Home Spider-Man figures. I missed out on the Mezco one. That's one that bums me out. I did miss out on the Mezco version. Nice. We have the Bad Batch Echo figure right here. I've been picking up my Bad Batch figures. I don't know how much, I haven't finished watching the show. It hasn't been my absolute favorite, but... I had to do it, man. I, I, I like the, I like the team anyway. And then, second to last, I have Masterpiece Skids. Let's go ahead and open up the box over here. I love my Transformers Masterpiece figures. This will be reviewed on the channel. I'm trying to get more of my essential, more of my tran more Transformer reviews up on the YouTube channel because I love my Transformers and I feel like it's been a disservice to myself not posting them. Had a talk uh, with a friend of mine about that and I was like, you know, I owe it to myself to make more Transformers reviews. And I know there's quite a bit of you that like them. Uh, not most of you, most of you guys like the Spider-Man videos, but here's Skids and it looks freaking awesome. I did not pick up the Reboost because I don't remember Reboost being in the G1 cartoon, so I I'm cool off of getting it. Could be wrong if he was, but I just see that as another repaint with an Optimus Prime designed looking head sculpt on there, but I could be wrong. But I definitely remember Skids, so wanted Skids. And I think his alt mode looks really cool. Both modes look very cool. I also have the deluxe version of Skids. And then lastly, oh man, Mr. Duran. Mr. Duran, you're at fault for this, my boy. Charlie, dude, I picked up the Super 7 Leonardo figure. And I saw the first version at my friend's place, got to hold it. Liked it, but didn't like the paint detail on the belt. When they announced when they announced this version with no silver paint detail on the belt, I was like, "Yes, please!" And oh yeah, this looks so much better. <laughs> that weird silver bothered me, man. And then the loose joints at the hips bothered me too. So hopefully the loose joints on the hips won't be there. But I gotta say, from what I'm seeing so far, I really like this. So I'm looking forward to cracking this guy open for sure. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, yes, yes. All right, you guys, stay tuned. I have more stuff coming to the channel. I don't know exactly which order this stuff is going to get reviewed. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep all the Jurassic World stuff. I have to be, you know, I gotta be smart, right? Try not to be a dodo. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to send your letters and artwork, once again, Shardness Prime, P.O. Box, 384 Pacifica, California, 94044. Showcase some first appearance Spider-Man artwork. And I'll show it off over here. It'd be fun. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Woo! <laughs>
Hey, let me show them some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. And click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.